Welcome to Business Buzz. We're here today in Albertson Hardware in the town of North Hempstead. We're going to be talking about different types of projects, home remodeling improvements, all right here, Albertson Hardware. Stay with me. We're here at Albertson Hardware with co-owner Jamie. Thank you so much for having Business Buzz here today. Oh, you're welcome. This is unbelievable. So how long has Albertson Hardware been in existence? Uh, over 19 years. 19 years. Yep. You're a lifelong resident of the town of North Hempstead? I am, I live in Albertson. That's great, family. Yep, we have uh, two kids. Both went to Herricks High School. Oh. And now Penn State, uh, one's a Penn State graduate and one's still in. Fantastic. And we are standing in front of a, a pretty unique wall. Uh, I know that you had been discussing, this is quite a display, but can you talk about some of the things that are, are above uh, the machinery and stuff that you sell here? Well, since we moved to this new location, uh, the uh, catchphrase line of our business is the return of the neighborhood hardware store. Um, we wanted to bring back the feel of somebody going into a hardware store in the 1800s. Now, what do you sell here exactly? We sell everything a big box store sells, uh -huh. but with the hardware, the old hardware style of giving service and selling the product together. So when someone comes and buys a plunger or a drill, we could explain how to use them the right way. And we spend a lot of time with the customers to give them feedback on how to use the tools and parts and how to apply them into their jobs. And loyalty. I mean, you must have a lot of return customers. We do. We have uh, the nearest surrounding towns. Everybody comes to us. Uh, we're a very busy company and we take care of a lot of people. And you also do outside barbecue, grill. We do. Everything from the small ones to the real big impressive ones, right? The, the big party Weber grills. Oh. You have the gold series, the silver packages, uh, we have all the smokers, um, and we sell pretty much everything that you would need for an outdoor barbecue here. Okay, so can you take me for a little walk around your store? Sure. We'll go that way and sure. we'll see what we have. First, we have our unique way of displaying things. We have our old ropes and shelves right there. Ah. Right away, <laughs> right away, it says, please do not touch. <laughs> this is an old-fashioned drill press uh, that is still in working condition. Um, basically, how it works is this, this basically turns the wheel, which turns the gear, and which turns then the drill bit. Is that how it really used to... That's how they is used to drill paper, every hole. Is this or is this a real old-fashioned? This is a real drill press probably built in the early 1800s. Okay, and so if we go this way, one of the other unique things that I had wanted to point out were these incredible, I guess, aisle signs above. Locator signs. Locator signs. Um, it, they look like they're made out of nails. They are, they're made out of each sign uh, is drill pressed into the wood and then each sign takes approximately uh, 500 nails each. So, and each one is individually put in. This is not a nail, this is a screw. That is a bolt. <laughs> How do I know? Um, goop, don't know what this is, but it sounds sort of fun. That's an adhesive. <laughs> it's an adhesive, goop, okay. If I were to come in here thinking that I was able to handle a certain project on my own and then become extremely overwhelmed by the process in which I would need to do it successfully, I could literally walk next door and go from Albertson Hardware to Handyman Express. That's correct. And hire someone to do it for me. Yep, you would just come from this aisle right into right <laughs> the office where Colleen is, set up an appointment, and in a couple of days we'll be there. And within a couple of days after that, the job gets done. And, and actually, you have a third company, correct? Well, we have our, our, our other company is the construction company, which is called 915 Construction and Design. And that's something that we build uh, very uh, high-end construction <laughs> and homes. 
So Jamie is the co-owner of all three businesses, Albertson Hardware, Handyman Express, 915 Construction, but you also have a partner. That's correct. And that is who? John Keffes. John Keffes. John Keffes started with me when he was 13 years old as a helper in the store. And to this day now, he is my partner in okay. all three businesses. That's great. So between the two of them, you've got your entire lives covered. Tool, Tool time. time with Kim. Handyman Express, wonderful place in the town of North Hempstead. If you ever need anything for your home, Handyman Express. So tell us a little bit about Handyman Express and what you do, what you don't do, who calls you, for what? Well, the Handyman uh, was established about 10 years ago and people would always come into the hardware store asking me for cards saying, you have an electrician, do you have a plumber, do you have somebody to put up moldings, do you have somebody to put in a light bulb? And over time, we figured out that there was a need to fill this void. Yes. So we established the Handyman Express. And basically, we do jobs from screwing in a light bulb to now building houses. Really? And we basically take care of everybody's needs uh, in the house for jobs that never can get done by a larger contractor because they're not geared for it, and we are. So, so for example, what are some of the most typical uh, jobs that you get called for through Handyman Express? Okay, we go to someone's house and they give us a list of 10 things. One, um, install this faucet. Two, put up this trim, hang a door. Can you fix this cabinet? This is like a honeydew list. Yes, it is. Right? So it's yes, a it honeydew list. So I would just literally, I that because that sounds exactly like something I would do. Yep. Make a list. They would hand it to you. You'd get it done. And then when I get there, they give me the list. We go through all the jobs. We either give them an estimate or we charge by the hour, either or. And we take care of the list within a, a couple of days. We're going to put together a kitchen sink and cabinet and a top which we're using on a job for a person that needed a laundry room makeover. Really? Yes. Perfect. Now we're gonna make it. So, vanity, or sink, or both? Kitchen cabinet. Neither. <laughs> Kitchen cabinet, what are we doing with this? Okay, this is a, an assembly cabinet where you put things together, uh -huh. and they all clip together with special clips. And right now we're gonna put the front face on. We've already uh, put these corners on, and now we're gonna put the front face. Okay. So. That's gonna clip right into there. Up, oh, down a little bit. Right. So it goes right in there. Is it supposed to go in? All right, I got it. Okay. Did you get your side? Now you're going to put the screwdriver and then you're gonna screw that together in one full turn. Righty tidy. Perfect. Sink! This is the next part of what we have to do. So we have our, our laminate countertop. Okay, wait, I have a question. What is this stuff underneath? It looks like it's paint or something. This is an insulation that's sprayed on the sink so it doesn't make noise or as much noise when, when the, the water hits it. Ah. It insulates it a little bit. Interesting. Yep. Who knew? Well, so you, now, you probably know. Now we're going to take this sink and we're going to make a template because we have to cut the hole in the countertop. Okay. So we're going to put the sink down upside down and... Wait. With our blue tape that you had before, right behind you, and we tape around it so we know where to cut with our jigsaw. Take the sink off now that everything's already marked, and we're going to take our cordless drill and we're going to drill what's called a pilot hole. Okay. In there, and you could re-drill that hole there. Have to make sure it's facing. Make sure it's facing right. forward, and. That's it. Oh, wait, and you're a light just gonna goes drill on. through. A light goes on. Yeah, it's a little bit of a pilot light. And now we're gonna take a jigsaw and now we're gonna cut uh, the sink out after we plug it in. Because we have to plug it in. So now we're gonna let Kim do some. So you're basically just gonna follow that blue line right to the end. Right along here? Right, right along, along that tape. line. Does the person who's getting this sink know that, that they're having it done by a professional like Yes, they, they, they soon will. Okay. So and you're not going to put your hands near there. I just realized there. that you should not put your fingers in front of the blade. Right. So I can hold it behind. Yes, you can. Well, wow, was that? That was about perfect. And I think I may have a new handyman employee. And you heard it here first, folks. 
this. All right, so we're going to cut the rest of this, and in TV magic, we're going to have the sink ready to put in. We're ready. It's upside down, but trust me, it looks beautiful. <laughs> okay, so now we bring this, sit on top of that. Now what we can do is we can take the tape off. Okay, we're taking the tape off. We'll take the countertop here. And we'll take the sink here. Top in. Drop it in. Look at that. It's perfect. And now and we I have our it, countertop. Made it myself. It's a great job by cutting the hole in there. I, you know what? I learned from the best. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much. This oh, has you're been welcome. Great. Handyman Express. Thank Jamie. you. Thank you.